Wait, this is actually crazy. I'm playing Peter Svidler. <laughs> oh my goodness! Peter Svidler! I mean, yeah, I'm playing uh, Gotham Chess. I don't know uh, a whole lot about him, but... Um, well, I have to give him my utmost respect, and... <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go Karo Khan against Peter Svidler. Um, knight d2, so he's gonna go knight d2, knight b3. He's playing very positional style. Uh, I'm gonna go... Knight d7. I gotta play fast, so I can't be starstruck. You know, I gotta, I gotta play h6 here, drop the bishop back. This knight d2, knight b3 is very, very positional line. We'll see how Peter tries to squeeze me, but listen, it's a good day if you can get squeezed by Peter Svidler. Peter doesn't know opening, so mess him up. Let's go knight c8. I think this is like a typical Sarawan technique. Uh, a5. I don't want to let Peter squeeze me. But, uh... You know. Alright, bishop e7. Let's just try to not get dismantled completely, yeah? Let's just play a solid game. So Peter immediately goes for something. Why would he do that? That's honestly very rude. Want a castle? Now I can take this and then I, I can try to pop a knight out to b6, but there's a small problem with that move, and I think it's that he has bishop a5. Which is a little bit annoying. If cd5, I'm thinking to go here. Also maybe bishop b4. Okay, so I don't want to go here, I don't think. Let's go here. Knight e1! Oh my god, only a super GM would play a move knight e1. And he's just trying to use his pawn majority on this side of the board. It's a very high level chess move. Okay, let's play bishop b4. Because I, I need to mobilize on the queen side. Peter's gonna play uh, g4, f4, I think, to try to just destroy me. I have some time advantage. Oh, maybe not. Maybe he's just gonna try to slow play me here. Very positional here. He's trying to take with the knight, get control over this square. I can't say that I see anything better than capturing. Okay, let me take maybe this knight to b6 to attack this pawn. He has a5, I'm thinking to go knight c4 in that position, and he can't really take my b pawn because I have knight b2. So this attacks this. If knight c5, I'm thinking just to take and play queen e7. Peter Swidler is giving me his pawn. Peter Swidler says, I don't give a damn. Take my pawn, I'm gonna beat you, you're a garbage I am. I'm gonna take everything you've ever worked for. And, I'm, and, I, and it might happen, but I'm, I'm going to try my, my hardest to not let that happen. So, queen g5. Did Svidler just blunder? Oh my gosh, we're beating Peter Svidler. Peter Svidler has just blundered, knight takes b2. If he takes, I'm taking on f4. And I'm hitting his queen. Oh my goodness. We're winning. We're beating Peter Svidler. This is unbelievable. If I take, I'm just, I'm just winning. Wait, 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 let me, let me just calm it down here for a second. <gasps> and if he goes rook g4, I have 95. I have 95, winning. I'm winning 95! Oh my goodness, and he resigns! We beat Peter Svidler! We just beat Peter Svidler! With the black pieces! Oh my god, this guy's like a former top 10 player in the world! Un I am so I am speechless. That is actually crazy. And I mean, those of you that don't know, Peter Svidler is like. I mean, Peter Svidler is is you know like he's a he's a premier commentator. He's just unbel. Oh my gosh. I don't know Peter's peak peak ranking, but that is that is unreal. Wow. Peak ranking number four in the world. At this, at his highest, he was fourth in the world, man. In 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 2004. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, Chesbay, that is incredible. Wow. And guys, let me just let me just tell you this. So, in this position, it looks like I I have a I have a problem. You know, my queen's under attack. My knight's under attack. I can't guard the queen with the I can't guard the knight with the queen. And I can't give him a check because his knight covers these squares. But here I saw a concept called a danger level. And my queen's under attack. And I can sacrifice my knight even though I did it the other way. And if he takes my queen, I take his queen with check. 
and then I win his rook. So a couple of things had to go right here, and he actually resigned because there's nothing that he can do. My knight attacks both of these pieces. And uh, that's why he resigned. So... Wow, I, I am speechless. That is, that is actually crazy. That is the best win online I've ever had, ever.